Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video uh, where you see my face. <laughs> uh, I don't often film face-to-face uh, -face videos so uh, yeah this will be a <laughs> special treat kind of thing. Uh, no I'm just kidding uh, but basically I wanted to do a little intro face-to-face -face and then get into the meat of this video. Um, so this was uh, this is going to be a video about my wax organization so how I currently have my wax organized my large wax collection um, I'm not going to say it's like crazy large and honestly now that I have it in this current organization state it doesn't feel quite as big but I know it's still pretty decent sized uh, and according to my husband a lot of wax. So uh, but anyways so this was a requested video uh, a while back but I've been waiting to film it because I just wasn't satisfied with my current wax organizations I didn't really want to share it. Um, it was kind of a hot mess, honestly. It was all just in those um, square, like, tote box things, that you, cubes that you put into, like, the cube shelving. And I had a cube shelf. And, you know, like, it worked, but it wasn't great. And I didn't feel like it was easy to know what basket had what and, you know, be able to pick my wax basket um, every time I did a new wax basket. Uh, and that's another little thing that I'll be doing with this video as well is you'll get to see me pick my wax basket for my upcoming um, empties and wax basket video as well. So that'll be fun um, addition to this as well. You'll get to see how I use my wax organization to pick my wax basket. So I thought that would be a good way to kind of show the utilization of my current organization, which I am obsessed with. Um, I'm definitely like... 99% happy with it. <laughs> As with all things over time, you know, I may change things up or make little changes as life changes and my wax collection changes. But for now, um, when I'm currently in this mode of I need to use up a vast majority of my collection before I'm going to allow myself to start buying wax more um, often. So you know, that's where this organization really comes into play in helping me really utilize my collection and get through it uh, so I can add more because that's always the goal. So yeah, <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive into that part of the video. Hello, okay. So this is my current wax storage. So I got these white tote uh, boxes things uh from Walmart and I'd seen them at Target I think but they were cheaper at Walmart and I was there and I just grabbed them um but I got four larges and four mediums and that seems to fit pretty well on this single shelf which is what I was hoping for and then I did though still have to use um don't mind the fur <laughs> <laughs> walking by and that's my dog um who does not care when I'm filming uh and <laughs> so uh these two so this is what I used to store my wax in in this shelf in the living room and it was convenient in the fact that it was in the living room so it was near my desk so like when I filmed I could just drop stuff in there but it just wasn't convenient in the form of like how everything fit in these and and everything else like I didn't really do much with those two baskets so you'll kind of get an idea when I show you those and how things are in those how chaotic my whole collection was but I love how the majority of my collection is now um, so this is basically like we have a built-in hallway shelf in our apartment and we store you know stuff and some nerdy things up there but it's a pretty big like full-sized um shelving area so it's kind of just perfect place to store stuff um and you know I try to still make it look nice because uh you know it's out in the open there's really no like I could I guess I could put a curtain rod in if I wanted to like cover it or whatever but you know I like using it to display as well so 
is this is just perfect place for it. I had this idea actually when I was at my parents with my mom and, um, you know, we were talking and stuff, uh, while she was doing some of her YouTube things and I was like, oh my gosh, like light bulb moment. This would be a perfect place for me to store the wax. And then I thought about these lidded storage so that I can stack and it just, there we go, came to life. And then I have a label maker that I absolutely adore. Um, I mention it in an Amazon favorites, um, technology favorites video that's already up. And um, yeah, so I labeled the white boxes and love it. I think the only thing I don't like about these so far is that, see if one of them kind of like, they just attract dust and hair and stuff but um maybe over time that'll improve but for now these are great and i love it uh i do they are a little stuffed so the lids don't sit well on some of them um and also just because like the plastic bags kind of push up over the top and things like that too but as again as i uh continue to use up my collection should improve <laughs> aesthetically um and be good to go but yeah so and then like i said i have the two baskets here and then i'll also fill my wax basket for the month um with you guys today as well so let's get into that i'm going to try to gently set you guys down here i have you on a little like selfie stick thing that turns into a stand and um we will pull down some of these so first we have um let me tilt you guys down so you get a little top down view action trying to be <laughs> as professional as possible i am not a videographer though so please excuse any carelessness or <laughs> weirdness when it comes to the video so this is, as the lovely labels say, clamshells and cups. So really, I want this to be my clamshells, but I had, uh, I didn't want to use up like a large size container for the cups, um, because then I, there would be lots of room in there. And I guess, again, like I can definitely shuffle some things around here and there, but I do like how everything kind of came out. So for the cups, I just put them all in a medium one. I expect that there, I will still have cups. I like cups. Um, they're, you know, I don't chop them or anything. I just pop them in. My warmers are big enough to take a whole cup at once. Um, so yeah, I basically just drop them in so they're easy enough. But these ones are basically just non-lidded cups or odd shaped cups. So like I have this no face one from Nerdy Wax. Uh, that I definitely need to know that I've had that for a long time, but I'm hoarding it. And then, so like I have ones, most of these I think are from Villainous Wax and Nerdy Wax. They often do the cups without the lids, um, due to like, you know, deco or things like that. Like this Eeyore one, you know, you couldn't, uh, put a lid on that because it lifts up too high above the cup for the lid to stay. Another nerdy wax one. This one's got Indiana Jones and little pyramid there. And then star again from nerdy wax. So lots of nerdy wax ones. Um, and then I do have a couple of the lidded cups that did not fit. So a few from fantasy wax. Um, but a majority of my clamshells also come from bonus wax. I love clamshells. They're so easy to use, but Essentially, I just have the large ones kind of stocked there, and then I have the, like, nor like, typical sized ones there. These ones are Southbound Candle Co., so a lot of the ones that are that size are from Southbound in the summer. is one of my most favorite scents ever, from, especially from Southbound, but just in general, like, it's amazing. And then I have a lot of the Villainous Wax, like, round clamshells from her, um, especially the Patreon exclusive ones, I get one every month with the Patreon, um, subscription that I have with her, my VIV, so, yeah, that's 
those ones there some of them and then some of them are like the charity ones um this one i think yeah this one was a patreon one um but yeah i absolutely just love how this all kind of fit in there and everything and then i did have the extra space for the cups so not like perfect perfect can't remember where I think it just had that laying on top of there but works for sure in that you know I'm able to put it all in there oh. <laughs> hi cutie pie my dog just brought me one of his lammies uh <laughs> and then ran away again but I think he was trying to take it to the bedroom maybe but he can't get by me right now uh, okay, so the next one on this side that's also in the large container, really what I'll do. Oh, well, I guess, duh, important part. So this is my wax basket that I keep everything in. I kind of try to divide it by the three spaces, but sometimes I just um, you use it to, you know, excuse me, throw stuff in there. So I think I'll definitely use the pirate's water. I've been hoarding that for this summer, but I need to use it. Like I said, need to melt this one, so I'll make myself do that. Uh, let's see, what's another one? Since we're going with favorite scents, I will probably melt in this summer. I do have two of them, so... Oh, actually, I don't have to do it that way. Love it. And just slide another one in there. Um, do it in the summer, and then let's see... Do Indiana Jones. What's the scent notes for? This one. Crushed mint, clove, and jasmine. Probably wait closer to like fallish time to do that one. Ooh, the Dole Whip sounds good. Um, Yaya, yeah, yeah. pistachio. There we go. Sounds good. I love pistachio. Pistachio. Did I say pistachio? Oh my gosh. Uh, and yeah, we'll do Alien Invasion as well. So I pick like four or five per bag, um, container. And then if I feel like I need more, once I'm done, I'll go back through it again. Um, oh, there we go. So see, like it just attracts hair like crazy, but I feel like it's just that kind of plastic. But I love the way it sits in there and then the way they stack. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, as soon as I get them down by the floor on the carpet, <laughs> they're just covered in hair. Um, but that's because of me. So, uh, let's see. So, on to this one. So, this is my snap bars. And, oh, I can also show you guys. So, this is, so yeah, it's Mainstays Large Lidded Storage Bin. Modular stacking design. There's the sizing if you want to see if it'll work for you um and then yeah it's at walmart so easy access and like i said target does have some like this as well that i saw that i also liked so there's definitely options they also have like the little like, kind of holes so you can pull them out there so yeah i'm happy about it okay so Yes, so I have a large stack here. Um, so my Sassy Girl Aroma large snap bars and little stack there of those. And then these are all my non-Fantasy Wax snap bars because I have so many Fantasy Wax snap bars that they have their own bin. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But this is all my like Villainous Wax um, mostly all villainous wax, uh, as you can see, mostly all that. Uh, I think I have a couple that are from a few other shops, but basically I had gotten like the whole, um, villain collection, uh, like every single villain wax that she'd ever done. So I got those, um, uh, so yeah, nerdy wax there. 11 um nerdy wax so i have a few from nerdy wax mostly like they have the big shapes on them so they're just really hard to store it's my only gripe they're super cute but hard to to store in this way uh, i know i have some from a few 
other shops other than just villainous and nerdy. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I do have this one bar from Melted Confetti. And I know I have a few in these regular, like, little plastic bags. But, ah, here we go. So, Black Magic Melts. I have a couple of these. Snap bars from them. I really love their melts. They're always super strong smelling. And then my Sassy Girl Aromas are always a big thing for me. So, let's go ahead and pick some here. So this one's Seven Heaven Mint. Uh, I think I want to hold on to that one a little longer. Green tea, lemongrass. Yeah, this one sounds good. 100 years. And then, yeah, Penthouse sounds good too. Peach Plum, Peony, Violet, Leather, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Musk. Sounds like two good ones. I usually at least try to use one or two per um, just because I love them so much and I'm definitely hoarding them. See, this is my problem. Like, this is why I had to reorganize my wax and make it easier for me to get into it all because I've been hoarding stuff forever and I need to, like, melt it. So, we'll just grab, like, four or five random ones of these and then where'd that Sailor Moon one go? We'll do Sailor Moon too, And then... Now I have some more space in here. See, we're getting there. We're getting there. Already have like room for more. So, <laughs> so I have Sailor Moon, Cherry Zucchini Bread from Black Magic Melts. I'm putting in there. Sea Witch uh, from Villainous Wax, Pink Lady, Two Knuckleheads, Norway Pavilion. That's from the. Um, Oh my gosh, it was just there in my head. The Disney World. Oh my gosh, it's right there. All the country pavilion stuff. Oh my gosh. Someone's telling, like yelling at me through the video. <laughs> telling me what it is. Oh my gosh. But that's going to bother me. Okay. Cauldron Born as well. So there we go. And then, you know what? We'll go ahead and do the melted wax or melted confetti one as well, which is pistachio ice cream. I love pistachio scents, so can't resist doing one of those. So there we go. There's my snack bars. So super easy to get into, to see everything on like my um, little cube storage thing that I had going on before. I just couldn't like it just was digging through stuff so it's just grabbing stuff off the top and then dropping stuff in on the top and it was just like a mess so okay but next we have my freebies other and this is the medium and still fits like a good amount of stuff it's just not as deep that's really the only difference between the medium and the large the small size one was pretty um was pretty was much smaller than those like stacking wise it would you might be able to like do two per or something like that but um for the mediums it's the same length as the largest the largest are just deeper so um they can hold the taller waxes and stuff like that but this is basically all of the like small tiny bits of wax or freebies that i have kind of random little bits like um oh my gosh what brittle like the little bits of brittle that I have left I also just put like kind of any other kinds like so these are tiny shapes that I got from villainous wax patreon exclusive and then um another patreon exclusive so this is and then this one from L3, the scoopable wax. That's what I was trying to say with that one. Scoopable wax. Um, so yeah, so like my two scoopables that I have. And then like the little one here. I just got that one, so I'm not going to melt it right yet. But I do have a few that I need to definitely melt. And I'll grab a few freebies. Carrot cake and cinnamon. They're, those are good for like the bathroom bedroom. Because I can combo. Or I can... You know, just throw, you know, one in 
for a quick scent change. I have a few that are multiples, like from Fantasy Wax Magenta Magic, so I'll definitely grab any of those that are similar smelling, so that way I can melt them together, so like that could be, you know, melt that with something. Strawberry Daiquiri, Cherry Cookies. I have this one. Oh, I think this was from, um, oh my gosh, Nerf Herder. Nerf Herder, yeah, that's what. Um, Nerf Herder Co., so they're a little, like, nerdy wax shop that I really like. Um, but I got a bunch of, like, little freebies from them. So I'll just kind of grab random. <laughs> grab randomly and toss in bag. <laughs> I definitely need to use these up for sure. And then I definitely also need to use up. Oh, this one's, I really like this too. This is Trolls from Nerdy Wax. I feel like that will be a good one for summer. I can't read this one. Uh, oh, Fresh Bed Sheets in Orange. Ooh, that sounds really good. So we'll do that one as well. Okay. Oh, and then I do also have like kind of random other, again, that's why I put other, it was just, <laughs> so this is a wood diffuser. Um, I want to use that in, um, Halloween time frame in the fall. So that'll go in there. Oh, it's the, the taller scoopable wax one making that so it won't close all the way but we'll set that on the side and i'll pull down cups so this like i said is the full cups set so as you can see very very full <laughs> so as you know i take out of here i can put the cups that are in with the clamshells in here and then remove the cups label and just have that larger container be my clamshells so that will be great but for now um and then I'll try to you know maintain that this is cups only and unless there's room I don't buy so that's what I'm kind of hoping for is to limit myself to this storage system and basically say like if I don't have room in my clamshells I'm not buying any clamshells if I don't have room in my cups I'm not buying in cups if I don't have room in the snap bars I'm not buying snap bars um so yeah hopefully that will keep me on track for actually using my collection and not just hoarding it like I have been so yeah let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these most of these are fantasy wax to be honest um but we do have a few nerdy wax so we have like galaxy's edge and Hans here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and then we have fantasy wax carrot cake who knows how long I've had this one at least since this, well, no, because they did shapes this year. So I've had this since the last Easter time frame, last spring. So this is well over a year old. Um, and then we have another Nerdy Wax uh, Superior Churros and Dipping Sauce. Oh, yeah. So, love that. And then we'll do two more. Blueberry from Fantasy Wax, or Blue Bakery, sorry. And see, like the hair everywhere. My hair especially. <laughs> well, my hair only, to be honest. My dog doesn't really shed that badly, so. Um, and then this one is Flight of Passage. Oh, one of the Disney World um, rides, I believe. Oak moss, orange slices, grapefruit, and mangoes. So there we go. I'm like off to the side, so I'm not really like in camera, like behind the camera, so I can't read through the camera. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then I'll probably take one more. So we'll do Hannah's Cookies, which is pink frosted animal cookies, lemon pound cake, and zucchini bread. I was like, oh, I won't focus to let you guys read that. Okay, there we go. All right. And then we still have plenty of room in the basket. So I definitely can add some more. So we'll go ahead and close that one up and move on to the next one. So this is, again, covered in hair, but this is the Fantasy Wax only snap bars. <laughs> 
and as you can see, very full, very full fuel. So I have a couple of long ones that I'll probably melt. We have Luna Love Good, we have the Cheshire Cat, and we have Unbreakable Vow. So just those extra large size snap bars. Um, so I'll melt all three of those. And then, yeah, basically all fantasy wax, either like pre-orders or from different collections. Um, snap bars are one of my favorite styles because like what I can do is, especially I love these because they're so, they're easy to break in the middle. So I'll do like uh, five and that's one melt in a warmer or if I want to melt the same scent in the bedroom and the bathroom then that's, you know, one and one, or the living room, again, one and one, because I have two warmers in my living room, <clears throat> and I usually do the same scents in both, um, so yeah, basically, like, the, they make it super easy, and then with these, what I do is I snap the two and two, and then for the five, fifth is the middle one, and then I just snap that in two, or I'll, like, lean it against, like, a edge of some kind and be able to snap it in two pretty easily. With my longer nails, I tend to not try to break it myself, but you can easily, again, snap it in half and then get enough for two melts out of one of these. So I love that. Good bang for your buck. And you know what? I'll go ahead and just use up this whole roll. So I've got zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale. Ugh, hair gets caught in the stickers when they lift on the edges. Zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale. Happy birthday, cereal and milk, panna banana, which is zucchini bread, banana nut bread, and sugar cookie royale. We've got fried beignets, watermelon fizzy pop. So all good scents. And that might be it for me for picking for this month, but... We'll see, because maybe I have some room. I just got to organize the basket a little bit better by <laughs> just tossing stuff in there. But there we go. Um, and so, like, this is kind of lifted up on that side, but it's just because of, like, all the plastic. So I probably could, now that I have more room, stack these a little differently to help the lid sit a little better. But since I am stacking it anyways, it should be fine. Um, but, yeah, I think that might be the only other thing that I don't love, like I love how the lids are and that it does a good job of stacking and everything with the way the lids are, but because it goes inside here, you lose a little bit of that height. Um, so I wish that they sat more on the surface than inside, but it still works again because I'm stacking them and everything. So it squishes down the lid and everything. All right, so we'll go ahead and put these all back in their spots and try to get the hair off of them. <laughs> okay, and then the next one. So we've got, this is my fantasy wax. Again, fantasy wax only mini chunks and shapes. So basically the mini chunk bags and as you can see, I've gotten a lot of them. They've done several collections where they just did chunk bags. Um, and then that's been a popular one they've had in a lot of their collections. So I got quite a bit. And then I also have the soap bars from them in here, as well as basically whatever kind of shapes I can fit. Um, I am just lazy and don't like chopping wax as much. Um, as I used to be like okay with it and just do it, I just don't. So those will probably be one of the last things I melt, to be honest. Um, but the I love the chunk bags. So the chunk bags will definitely be something that stays, but shapes I'm just not as drawn to. I'll get them if I really, really like the scent and they don't offer that scent in any other, you know, way. Um, but yeah, basically... Um, yeah, I've got like bunts and stuff like that. I just don't enjoy chopping wax. Um, 
so I prefer to get things in forms. So that's where like the clamshells, the snap bars, the cups, they've all got their own bends specifically because those are the things that I love. So the mini chunks um, will definitely get their, get their own basket eventually um, just because I do really like them so much. And then this one does not close uh, very well because of all the plastic bags like sticking up. Otherwise it would fit, but the plastic is pushing it up and making it so it doesn't really sit so but that's fine and then me messing around with it probably um added to that but i won't pick from that today like i said i'm filled up pretty much on the other ones and then this next one is my christmas and winter basket i have a lot of leftover christmas and winter scents because i love christmas and winter scents so much i tend to over order and not make it through the whole holidays and winter time melting these so i had quite a bit of leftovers from last year and i do plan on not buying any more until i've put all of these in a wax basket and are melting them so um but i feel like this will always be a bin because i just love christmas and winter scents so much but i did make it a medium one to again limit myself um but you know i got all of these wax bars from villainous wax in here from their like holiday holiday movie collection you know you killed santa saying family uh you'll shoot your eye out um and we've got four realms and then old-fashioned family christmas you filthy animal state of mind and you're a mean one so all the the lovely christmas movies and then i do have this harry potter one happy christmas um in the large clamshell and it's ruby red candy apples pine trees and fresh snow super excited about that i think i actually this is one of the customs that i ordered uh because i didn't get a hold of it in christmas i custom ordered it so that i could have it for this christmas and then i have an obsession with the dancing reindeer um scent from villainous wax it's amaretto nog and it smells freaking amazing i love amaretto scents so that's in there and then the rest of these um hold on i'm just gonna try to stack all these back in here um, the rest of these are from L3 Waxy Wonders. So I got two of their, two or three of their bags of like mixed scents, all themed around like maybe one thing. So like toasted mallow cocoa butter, cashmere, cashmere cedar. And then like this one is mallow fireside, warm vanilla sugar, vanilla blossom. And we've got like... Twinkies, gingerbread candy cane, cherries on snow type, vanilla balsam. So I wonder, if, yeah, I think one of them was balsam. <laughs> Cranberry woods type vanilla balsam. So one of the themes was definitely balsam, balsam, winter candy, apple, vanilla balsam. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so I kind of just wanted to save those definitely for Christmas time and winter time because they're definitely like I have some other scents that definitely would be maybe classified just by theme or maybe a, a scent note as a Christmas or winter scent but these are like full on like I could not say these are not winter or Christmas scents um so they're in there awaiting those cold months I can't wait and then slide this one over here and then we have the last of the white bins and this is fantasy wax shapes so these are all these shapes so this this is why this one's on the bottom uh because i again i probably won't get through these for quite a while um, just because again, the shapes are not my favorite. Although I do have these large chunk bags in here. So these I definitely will get through. Um, I just hopefully won't forget them, but we have lots of those chunk bags and the donuts in here. Um, 
here's that carrot cake I was talking about. So this is from this year, this past like March, April time frame. Um, and that other one that I have in my basket now is from last year, most likely. I have a couple of the like waffle shapes. I was like, oh, I got a hair like all wrapped up in my nail. Uh, more like kind of shape shapes and then like big chunky like cake pie shaped. Oh, something smells really good in here though a big chunky hearts so just really huge chunky shapes is what all is in here along with like the donut shapes and then those chunk bags so i definitely will pull these um here and there for sure hmm, let's see actually let's do no i'm like seeing cakes i feel like i do that one a lot um Ooh, pineapple whip. Here we go. So I'll do some more pineapple smell for winter. And that'll be my last, possibly last pull. <laughs> um, okay. And so these are like the ones that are like full to bursting. And the lids just do not sit on them very well. But go ahead and... Okay, so now we have the last, the last of the storage. So like I said, this, these two baskets down here are basically all shapes, big, chunky items, things that just weren't not going to fit, um, or I just didn't have room for in the um, white containers, at least for now. And these probably never will fit in the large containers unless I get one entirely empty, uh, because they're just, they're my big chunk of monks, but they're also a lot of my, um, pre-orders and customs. So yes. And then the other one, again, I'll show you that in a second, but just filled to the brim with chunky stuff. So things that I will probably not shop and use for quite a while so first we have like again this was a pre-order one pistachio pudding cake and cornbread a big loaf from fantasy wax try to back this up a bit and then have room to sh actually show you guys stuff so like i've got suki here from gilmore girls and it's like smells like a baker's kitchen with sweet batter vanilla extract fresh baked cookies from sassy girl aroma one of her big chunky loaves filled with chunky bits and then here is one of my pre-orders it's the only time villainous wax makes loaves generally is when she's doing pre-orders and got lots of cool shapes and stuff so this is actually lady croft this is one of my all-time favorite scents from vanilla wax or vanilla wax from <laughs> villainous wax uh, ancient sandalwood roasting charcoal tonka bean and leather straps. It just smells absolutely divine, and so I will be hoarding that for the rest of my life. Um, and then, no, eventually I will melt it. I will make myself melt it, but just chopping into it, I don't want to do it. It's just so beautiful. Uh, then we have, like, exotic blankets from Sassy Girl, another one of those chunky ones. Another chunky one. And then, like, this was another, um... So this one, I actually was a custom that I actually made. I actually put this one together, Night Court. And it's jasmine, sea salt, bergamot, driftwood, and amber. And so again, one that I just do not want to ever, ever melt. Like, just, yeah. And then, oh, like tubs. So I have, again, for our, this is from Teddy Bee's Pistachio Dream Sugar Cookies. And then we've got basically all the rest of this is loaves from like Fantasy Wax, Teddy Bees. Oh, here's my other one from Villainous Wax Loyal. This was another custom um, order, like not a custom scent made for me, but a custom order. This was a scent she already had put together, but I ordered it um, in the huge loaf so of course again another one that i'm like no i'll never melt it i'm actually gonna put this one in its place 
And then like more teddy bees. Here's another custom. So I got white wolf. I really, really love this scent. And I love the Witcher. Very sad about events going on there with Henry Cavill leaving me. Um, I've got all three waxy wonders. Take a hike. Um, more fantasy wax. More all three. Oh, and then I also have these coffin shapes that I ordered um, from Villainous Wax. We have Academy of Magic. Um, we have Sorceress. child surprise so I just basically ordered like the entire witcher <laughs> one that I never got lioness loyalty to the laird and beauty so that's beauty and the beast and loyalty to the laird I think is um uh outlander outlander I don't remember um, I don't know. is that I, I never watched it. I want to, but I don't know that I want to at the same time. Because I feel like I'm just going to get obsessed and like, <laughs> I don't need another obsession. I already have too many. But yeah, um, that's it, I think, for that one. And so it's just all my really chunkies and my pre or custom. So those coffins, again, were something she doesn't normally do in the shop. They are customs that I ordered. But, ugh, like, I love them all. And I'm going to hoard them forever. Because also they're, like, chunks that I have to chop up. And so it makes it easier for me to hoard them because I don't want to chop them up. <laughs> But, okay, so then we have this other bag. This is the last. Um, so this bag has all of my chopping waxy supplies. I have, like, a little plastic child's knife. Um, it doesn't work very well, honestly. The thing that I love the most is this one here. And I think I ordered this from Villainous Wax's website, actually. And it's freaking amazing. It's huge. Like, it's the size of my hand, so it chops these big, chunky ones perfectly. I love it. And then I do also have, I think this spoon I also got from Villainous Wax, I want to say. Or I got it with one of my scoopables or something, or some, some special thing that I got. I don't think I ordered this specifically. Um, I think I, I got it in a box or something, but I love this. It's a good spoon for scooping wax and then this one is a good like one time use just wooden spoon or I guess it could be multiple use for the same wax or something and then I just keep a little like plastic bag in here in case any of the bags that my waxes are currently in break to keep them protected so there's that and then um again these are kind of chunks or just random shop ones that I just could not find a way to fit into these the white bins so we've got like birdies making sense these little like chocolate bar candy sized ones um i've got the little like pie cups from all three waxy wonders we've got bags of shapes from bonus wax so more pre-order or custom order sorry stuff um here so like this is the iron man ones so it's just like shapes. So it's stuff that I could definitely melt some of it without having to chop, but not stuff that I necessarily um, like want to melt right away. <laughs> like again, hoarding. Um, and then like, you know, again, chunky stuff from L3. I've got, you know, snap bars or brittle from melted confetti we got little ones from sassy girl aroma like chunk bags they just wouldn't fit in the others um i've got this i've had forever and i just don't want to melt it because black magic is pistachio cake is one of my favorite pistachio scents um and it's these little like tiny shapes but probably i need to just melt it but 
trying to hoard um, these large squares from uh, that Smell Good shop, Aquadigio and Dark Seas. Oh, I've got the little like loaf cakes, like tiny loaf cakes from Sassy Girl Aroma. I love Sassy Girl Aroma, but I have to like really not allow myself to go anywhere near her shop right now because I will just buy everything. Uh, cream cheese frosting from Rose Girls, so like chunks from Rose Girls. Um, I've got several of those. Absolute coffee. So just <laughs> a lot of different random stuff is just stuff that wouldn't necessarily fit or go you know like i had so much fantasy wax stuff that i couldn't make a dedicated box for all of these items so they're kind of all just in here I'm trying to see if there's anything else kind of interesting um got ones from teddy bees and these are all like tried and true shops that i really really like alfrey teddy bees saucy girl aroma villainous wax that good small shop they're all really great. Smell the confetti. Like, all really, really great shops. I really enjoy their scents. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of my, like, random, <laughs> random box of randomness. But there we go. That is everything. I'll just show you guys what the, <laughs> what the wax, wax basket looks like. It's a hot mess. I'll probably reorganize it here in a second. But um yeah so thank you guys for joining me for today's video um thank you for watching me pick out my wax, ba wax basket and share my wax organization i'm very passionate about it i love it so much um please comment like subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye